Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, howdy to you all, and to all a good howdy, uh, it's been a while since my last tutorial, or a little good time, and uh, it's good to make another one for you all, today, I'm gonna be showing you the pen tool, some basics, or whatever have you, so, I guarantee you this will be a boring one, yet pretty helpful, but that's that's a biased opinion, so take it as you want. And what is the pen tool? The pen tool is this button right here, this tool. And uh, with the pen tool, you create anchor points. That will be these points right here by clicking wherever you want the point to go. And... Uh, when creating anchor points you can do different things with that anchor point so let's say I let's just decide to move let's say I create a line and I notice that this line isn't straight at all so I'm like damn I gotta I messed up I gotta start all over no you don't you to move a point you hold control on your keyboard and you move the points genius and see now I have my straight line I'm excited I'm gonna go tell the world and you know show the world that I can create a straight line that's, that's an accomplishment in life and uh, maybe Maybe I wanted to create a circle or something, and I need a point in between, but once again, I already missed it. I already missed my opportunity in life. Well, you can go back and create a point in between. And you can move the point once again with control. And you can even use Alt to, you know, mess with these little endpoints or you can just hold control and move one inside whatever have you create a sharp edge by bringing both point ooh my god by bringing create a sharp edge by bringing the points close together You know what I'm saying? I can create a triangle, a nice looking triangle right there. But, you know, that's, that's the basics of creating the points. And so you can do different things with these points. Just create a random pathway. And, uh, it's a cool thing you can do. You can grab your brush, grab your default brush, uh, I'll bump up the size to about three. And you can stroke the path. Stroke is a very gay word if you used wrong, of course. You can hit stroke path and you can do this two ways. You can do it without simulate pressure pressure box checked and press OK and it'll create a solid line throughout your Oops, I did that on the wrong layer. Let's try that again. Stroke path, okay. And you can create a solid line throughout or you can stroke path and check the simulator pressure box and kind of creates a pressure. As you can see it's thicker in some areas and thinner throughout. I'll show you. So that's 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 very very helpful with some things, especially if you want to scan your drawings and go ahead and pen tool them out the outline. Do that and it will do wonders. But what I like to use a pen tool for is cutting different things and when cutting, some people call it rendering. The removing an image from the background, 
you can use a pencil to either create a mask or to straight up cut out the background so like I have these oranges here these nice juicy oranges very I can tell they're from Florida by the way the inside is arranged yeah so you can uh, you can cut out images the closer you are of course the more precise your cutout will be but man we're not going for perfection right now I'm not a perfect individual so I don't want, I don't want my work to be perfect because I'm not perfect I'm very close to perfection might I add but you know I'm not I'm not there yet but you know someday I'll, I'll get there hopefully it'll be a great achievement achievement unlocked a thousand gamer points or something like that but yeah, you know, finish the point and you can uh, either create a vector mask and keep the rest of the image or you can undo that. You can just create, make a selection and anti-alias on, control shift I, delete, you know, place your cutout on a nice background and say oranges are heavenly because they are you know they're made by God God specifically made oranges he didn't make apples Eve bit she, Eve ate an orange she didn't eat an apple so yeah you know it's good for cutting out images and yada 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 good stuff good stuff but yeah you know use your pen tool and don't sit around using your wand your wand tool this this idiot tool right here that photoshop included this one where people think if you if you select or I have this I have this white background so if I select it and and press delete if I select it I said select it Photoshop. If I select it and you know press delete, you know, Photoshop's gonna make the cut for me. No. No, you're wrong. So yeah. Actually it didn't do that bad of a job. But it won't always do a good job. As you can see all those shadows left over. It's terrible. But yeah. Go use your pen tool. Pen tool the world. Go cut the earth up and do other uh, things with your pencil. But yeah, I'll catch you next time with a better tutorial. Peace out. Stay golden. Much love.